From Ashable, I'm Adam Falk. Does it say anything in your smartphone's manual about functioning in the vacuum of space? NASA's gonna try it anyway. It's developing the cheapest and most easily assembled satellites ever, thanks to off-the-shelf consumer hardware like smartphones. They're called, appropriately, phone sats. Phones as satellites make sense. In terms of sheer computational power, the iPhone in your pocket is orders of magnitudes better than the computers that went to the moon on the Apollo spacecraft. And modern smartphones already pack a bevy of sensors, GPS, and high-resolution cameras. You won't be doing any geology research from orbit, but NASA says it will be enough for the proof-of-concept testing it's doing now. And it's a cheap test bed. One 4-inch phone sat runs about $3,500. Version 1 is powered by this, an HTC Nexus One running Google's Android OS. Its mission profile is simple to start. Take some pictures of Earth and space to transmit back to the controllers on the ground, presumably for Instagramification, and monitor its own state for the duration of the mission. Version 2 is a Samsung Nexus S with solar panels that will keep it running longer and special electromagnets that will let the phone sat control its own orientation. The phone sats are slated for launch later this year. You have to wonder if they'll get 3G from 100 miles straight up. For Mashable, I'm Adam Falk.